Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 4th of November, Wacky Wednesday. We have new mods and we have some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Lizard D83 trailer by Castan18 and the Flook. Uh, the Switchback Canyon map by Adub Modding NLA Gaming, the Sapphire Top Weight Pack by Noah 1735, um, Blue Mountain Valley by TNT Modding, the Fiat 682N4 by Pepe 978, and the Euro Farms map by Nismo have all had updates today. So directly in front of me, the, the wonderful wacky world of Farming Simulator. The mods have gone a bit bonkers of late, haven't they? In front of me, we've got an electric scooter. This is by Rowley Christie One VSR Modding Sir. It will use five slots. I love the flames. <laughs> this will use five slots, um, and it will use 4.4 megabytes to download. It's a mode of transport. It's an electric scooter. We hop on. Now, if I press. Um, R3, there's no in cab on this. I say in cab, obviously, you know. We turn it on and then we can accelerate. It does have lights, but only a rear light. There's no front light, although there is a light. That's weird. Oh, yeah, of course it is right there on the on the front stem. I'm looking thinking I can't see the light, and then there's light in the front. Uh, we do have indicators as well front and rear. Don't think there's a horn though. No. It's weird because there's obviously something on that screen because it is lit up. But one thing I will say, it's unfortunate. It does go at 21 miles an hour. It's it's a kooky little thing to have. I think yeah, very cool. It doesn't handle that well. At low speeds, it's not too bad. But when this gets up to 21. As long as you're gentle on the steering, you're fine. If you suddenly turn it, this thing will just turn like that. It will whip round on itself very, very quickly. But, it's, again, it's another one of those crazy things. So what we'll do is turn the engine off and hop off. This you'll find under vehicles, under miscellaneous. There we go, the electric scooter, 1,200 to buy. As I said, it will use five slots. Uh, 10 horsepower options available we can change the main colour to anything on that palette and there's quite a few to choose from as you can see it's nice ones actually some nice colours of this one then design colour changes the mud guards or however you want to refer to them like so so there we go that's the first of the mods for today the electric scooter by rowley christie one vsr modding sir uh moving on we'll come back around to those some farming equipment we've got this this is the um i want to get it right the lizard motil this is by pisa pl and tom sky this is um a small fertilizer or lime spreader i think it's only a 400 litre capacity um, it is 7.25 megabytes to download and 8 slots as well. There's a few moving parts and things on there, I guess. That's probably why. You will find this under tools, under fertiliser technology. There we go. 3,000 to buy. It'll run at 9 miles per hour and it's got an 8 metre spread width. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Which changes the framework. And anything on that palette which changes the actual container itself then we can have it without stickers or with the lizard logo so what we'll do hook it up there we go it does the job for small farms and small farm work handy little bit of kit doesn't take up a lot of room Very nice indeed. So we go, that's the Lizard of Motil by Pisa PL and Tom Sky. Next up, we have got the Cavernland AB853. This is by DB Modding. 
It's a, a 1.6 meter pair, I think it is. Three furrow, really nice detailed. This is 4.68 megabytes of download, four slots on console. You'll find it under plows. 6,000 to buy, requires 65 horsepower to run, 1.3 meter width, and it will run at eight miles per hour. Options available, we can have pin for three point link or the lower link balls, depending which you'd rather go for. To be careful what I say these days, you know, everything is, you know. Which actually one of the mods later on I'm going to have to <laughs> edit myself. There we go. Also has the ability, as most ploughs do, to allow crate fills. If I do L1 and triangle, then drop it down, you can create fields with your plough. Raise it up, L1 and triangle, and turn it off again. So there we go, that's the Cavernland AB853 by DB Modding. The next of the mods today is the B32D. This is a disc harrow. This is by Holtz FS. I think it's a 3.3 metre, this one. This is 4.68 megabytes of download, seven slots on console. You'll find it under disc arrows. 7,800 to buy, requires 80 horsepower and will run at seven miles per hour. Options available, we can change the main color from red to green to blue to yellow, like so. There we go. Does exactly what it should do. Drop that down. And hop out. So we go. That's the um, the B32D by Holtz FS. Moving on from there. Okay. We've got this. <laughs> Craziness. This is the Combi. Or it's the Combi Wagem. Hence the W on the front. It's a Samba bus esque type thing. Um, this will use 5.82 megabytes download, six slots. It's by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. It's transportation. Um, it does have a big speaker system in the back, although it doesn't. I mean, I suppose you can have the radio on, but uh, side door opens, both front doors open. It does have straps inside, which we'll have a look at in a minute. It is designed for putting pallets in, transporting egg boxes, that kind of thing. It's not an auto load one or anything like that. This you'll find under vehicles, under cars. There we go. 22,000 to buy, 70 horsepower. Um, yeah, six slots. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy well. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette like so design color changes the bumpers and those are the options available let's hop in start it up lights Indicators, big old indicators at the front as well. Horn. <laughs> Crazy. Swing around into the light. L1 and X opens the side door. Like I say, we do have straps all the way through. Although, I mean, it's for egg boxes, that's fine. I'm not quite sure how you'd get a pallet all the way around up there. But you can stick a pallet in the sides here if you want to. Now, we do have options to open the rear door. As you can see, it's partly open. And the two side doors, it's quite slow. 
So L1 and right stick side to side, as you can see, fairly slow opening. Right stick up and down, opens and closes the left door. And then if I go R1 and right stick, I can open that door. Does have a tow hitch, can pull trailers. In cab. Oh, I don't know. For 22 grand, you can't nod it. If you're looking for a mode of transport to move a few bits and bobs around. But there you go. <laughs> That's the Combi Wagam by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. Moving on from there, we've got the next in the lineup from NMC, North Modding Company. We've had the Scarrock, we've got the Rambler, we've got the Raptor. This is the Reaper pack. Uh, the Reaper pack will use 22.41 megabytes of download. The 1500 is 9 slots, the 2500 is 7 slots, and the 3500 is also 7 slots. Now I've got these in various different configurations. If you watched my old reviews the other day, the configurations are pretty much the same across um, all of them. It's just a slightly different design, different wheel arches on this one, a much more squared off wheel arch. There's, there's probably all sorts of other differences as well, but just to kind of simplify things and make life a little bit easier. The 1500 is the one that comes with a back already on and you do have the option to have nothing in the back, um, a ball hitch, a, a fifth wheel hitch or a pin hitch, ball hitch in the back. The other two, the 2500 and 3500, don't have a back on them and there are a few different backs available from NMC and there's also one that comes with this pack specifically for the Reaper which I've got on these at the moment. nicely made options available you'll find these under vehicles under cars so the reaper 1500 30,000 for the base model and like i say the options are pretty much identical rim color anything on that palette like so main color again anything on that palette i said this when i did the review on the last ones have a look through because there's a, a real array of colors this red quartz trico i love that it's a really nice colour. Actually, you know what? Uh, design colour. This is one of those menus. Changes the um, wheel arches. Like so. Then we've got the option of the bed. So this is the 1500. The bed is standard. Um, you get it with it. But you can have it with the fifth wheel. The ball hitch. With this one, you can have it with a fuel tank, or back to standard. Then with wheel brand, this is the one that raises it, so we get a lift kit. Someone did comment in the video I did the other day saying, with the lift kit, they felt it needed bigger bigger tyres, a, a bigger tyre option. Yeah, potentially. Um, and then we got rim one, rim two, rim three, then rim one on jewels rim 2, rim 3 and back to standard. Bumper configuration with this one, the Reaper, we've got three bumper options. You've got standard, bumper 2, bumper 3, back to standard. Assets configuration, we've got front light bar, we've got a beacon strobe bar or both. Mirrors, standard or tow mirrors. Step configuration, yes or no. Then engine size, we've got a 1500, 3.5 litre V6, 375 horsepower. I mean, they're all on there. They're on the screen. I won't read through every single one because it's the same. They're different ones for each. Uh, but we've got a 5.7 litre V8. We've got a 6.2 litre V8. And we've got the NMC Super, which is 650 horsepower, which is a bit of a monster. And then you've got bars for the back on this. Yes or no, like so. So that's the 1500, the Reaper 2500, 2500. All the options are exactly the same. There's no back on this. We'll have a look at the backs later on. Um, just trying to think. Just make sure we 
don't miss anything i'm pretty sure there's three bumpers on this as well yeah all the options are exactly the same engine size on this we've got a 6.6 .6 litre v8 we've got a 6.7 litre c we've got a 6.7 litre v8 we've got an mc super again 650 horsepower standard and wide mirrors um, but the other options are the same and then the reaper 3500 again pretty much identical but this one I think it might be the same as the uh, 2500 6.6 .6 litre V8 6.7 litre C 6.7 litre V8 and MC Super now as far as the back goes if we go across to tools and miscellaneous that one on the end, the Reaper back bed module, is what comes with this particular pack. If you want a selection of other backs to go on this, there is the Scarrock pack, um, bed pack, I think it is, that was released the other day. That will have some other ones available, a log bed and some other ones. Um, but this one, we can change the main colour to match up with your vehicle. Again, anything on that palette. Like so. Design colour. Changes the um, wheel arches. Uh, then we've got design, standard, wide fenders, bars, yes or no, attachers, fifth wheel, ball hitch, or standard. This bed on for the 2500 and 3500 doesn't have uh, a fuel tank, but there is a fuel tank option as part of the Scarrock bed pack. So, let's hop in. So as you can see for the 3500 and 2500, the backs are removable. Strobe light bar, lights, the main with the main spotlight if you decide to go with that. Horn. Love all the suspension stuff in there as well. I did find it did still have a little bit of a problem with um again a lot of people commented and said that the stop start was very kind of abrupt and you've got this kind of roll here I don't think, again it might just be with the NMC super but there you go that's the NMC Reaper pack by North Modding Company Moving on from there, uh, we've got this. This is a strange one today. It's very cool, but for a bit, a bit left field, this one threw me a little bit. Um, this is on my list. Where are we? This is the Lizard MRZT 550B. It's by Ref Farmer Marsland Mods. It will use two slots, and it's designed to go with the Leap 902 excavator. Um, it's a mower. It's it's very strange. I've no, I mean, maybe it exists in real life. I've never seen one, but um, yeah, this will use um, 2.56 megabytes to download. You'll find it under tools and miscellaneous. There we go. The MRZT 550B, 6,000 to buy. It's got 120 litre capacity because it's kind of a scoop bucket. 5.5 metre. You can use it as a bucket, it will pick up other things as well, but um, it has a mower, it's most interesting, I guess. Cool. I mean, you could just use it for trimming the edges, and you imagine buying one of these. If you had a big enough garden, buying one of these to cut your lawn, your neighbours would go berserk. Right, let's lift up a bit. Turn it on. See the cutter bar going side to side. That was a bit harsh, but if I just tilt that back a little bit, like so. <laughs> oh dear. We can unload it. <laughs> I don't know, it's mad, isn't it? I told you it was wacky Wednesday.
So maybe you'd use this before you started digging a hole? Or would you just bring the whole turf up with all the grass on it? It's this a... yeah. It's a bit different, isn't it? But there you go! And you can just use it as a bucket. If you just want to use it as a bucket. There you go. The Lizard MRZT 550B by Ref Farmer. Marsland Mods. Right. This ref got to be careful. <laughs> the manufacturer that must not be named. This is the KUHN and John Deere mower pack. This is by Nico Do 55. We have got in this pack the FC 3525F and rear double mower the FC 10030 for KUHN and then we've got the John Deere variant it's the same mower just a sort of reskinned version within the pack itself um, with this we have got the F350R front mower and we've got the R990R rear mower the rear mowers are 9.9 .9 meters as you can see we do have the option on this one as well to lift up the front section so you can actually see the mowers and stuff all in action Often they're hidden behind the little skirts, bits and the sides. But we can, if you wanted to. Um, nicely made mods. You'll find these under tools, under mowers. So, the FC 3525F, 13,500. And it will use four slots. 90 horsepower required. We're at 13 miles an hour. The FC 130, 10030. 48,500 requires 190 horsepower. 13 miles per hour, 9.9 .9 meters wide. I don't think there's any options. Other, well, I say options. The main color is in on the bars where it says the name. You can just see in the middle. Just changes those. And it's the same with this one, I think. Oh no, it's the, uh, this one over here. Again, so you can have it all John Deere green or with the black bits on the middle if you want. But the mowers, like I say, in essence, are exactly the same. 9.9 .9 meter and a 3.5 meter combination. Uh, did I say what this was to download? 11.69 megabytes to download this pack. Switch to the front mower. So if I do R1 and right stick up and down, oh, it still only does it on the back one, not on the front mower. Okay. R1 and right stick up and down raises and lowers the uh, the covers, so you can see the mowers in operation if you wanted to. There you go. Mows out to 9.9 .9 metres. Like so, that's the KUHN and John Deere mower pack by Nico Do 55. Moving on from there, I'm going to need a tractor, so I'll probably grab this one. But we have got. The Stara Ninja 2400. This is by Agrotono. This will use 16 slots to download. 4.14 megabytes. It's an auger wagon. 
I love the tyres on this. They're lizard ones, but the tread on that is, looks absolutely fantastic. Really do like that. Now we do have, I'm sure we've got a Ninja 1900 as standard in auger wagons. So this is a 2400. Swivel front axle. I don't think you can lock that one out. That's been a fairly new thing with certain trailers, especially on console. Um, this you'll find under tools, under auger wagons. Yeah, we've got the 1900 standard. So there we go, 48,000 to buy, requires 150 horsepower to pull. It will do your main crop types and it will do seed and fertiliser, which is pretty much what all the auger wagons do. We can have the option of Michelins and you can have the standard or inverted default. So the tread switches round. Then we've got lizards, like I said, I don't know, just something about those I really like, it looks kind of spiky. Again, standard or inverted those are the options available. So, once hooked up, L1 and left on the D-pad opens and closes the cover. I do have 24,000 litres of corn in there at the moment. Just trying to think, I'm sure. That's weird because it's showing on this as, and it did it with the last vehicle I pulled it out with. Just want to check in case I'm missing something. L1, R1, and side to side, oh, it's the ladder. I'm trying to work out what that did. It folds the ladder away. I couldn't see when I was bringing the vehicle out. But if I do L1, R1, and right stick side to side, it just folds the ladder back out the way, like so. Pipe in. Nice smooth animation. There's no movement of the pipe once it's up, it's fixed in place, so this isn't one that can be adjusted once it's up. Then L1, R1, unload here. Obviously you'd rather do it into a trailer or a cell point or a silo, but there you go. That's how that one works. So that's the Star Wright Ninja 2400, 2400, not 2400, 24,000 by Agro Tono. Moving on, we've got this. Um, this is the old Lizard Car Trailer by Ostri and Kashtan. This is 5.91 megabytes download, seven slots. As you can see, it does have straps. You can do from in cab or you can do manually. L1 and X opens the tipper at the back. Lights and indicators on it. It's designed to be pulled behind a vehicle of any description really. I know this is an old car trailer. There are a few options available on this with colour and sideboard panels and things like that. This you'll find under tools, under trailers. There we go, the old car trailer, 1,100 to buy. Um, like I said, it's seven slots. I mean, it's fairly high on the slot count and megabyte download, but like I say, main colour changes all the metalwork parts on this, like so. Rim colour changes, you've guessed it, the rim colour. But then we can have, on the sides, we can have plain boards, Brown, grey, red, green, another green. That says black, but I think it's another brown. And then back to plain boards again. Those are your options. On the old Lizard Car trailer by Ostri and Kashtan. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, hang on. Over here, nearly forgot the building. We've got the bulk goods haul. This is by Bayan Bayan Agra. Um, this is 18 slots, 21.48 megabytes to download for putting crops in, or you can use it as a vehicle shelter. However, you want to go about it, it's in type of shoes. Do I say it's 18 slots? 18 slots on console. Really nicely detailed. Texturing's great. The concrete looks like concrete. The wood underneath. Looks like wooden planks. I don't think there's lighting at all on this one. 
Certainly didn't see any light lighting under on the underside. This you'll find. Under placeables, under sheds. Nine thousand to buy. Um ten per day for upkeep. No options available. You get the building. That's the Bolt Goods Hall by Bayern Agra. The last of the mods for today, pretty sure, is this. This is the creepy header. <laughs> this is the Olimac Drago GT. This is by RL Modding, FSI Group. It Don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic. And it folds up, looks absolutely brilliant. It's when it unfolds and folds, uh, there's something really kind of... It's probably just me. Really sinister, a little bit kind of... It's almost like fingers. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm losing it. This um, is 14.58 megabytes download. Eight slots on console. It runs a little bit faster than the regular corn headers. This runs at seven rather than six. Miles per hour, that is. You'll find it under tools, under corn headers... There you go, the Olimac Drago GT 12 FR, 78,000. It's a 9 metre width, requires 380 horsepower. Now, the interesting thing with this as well, if you go across the rest of the headers, they all say 6 miles per hour, I think, pretty much all of them. This one says 7. Um, but what's interesting with this, you actually pick the one you want for the particular harvester. Now, will this fit on other harvesters? Will it fit on other modded harvesters? There are so many, I can't, couldn't, cannot possibly, well, I could have, but it would have taken me forever, tested them on all of them. However, you've got a John Deere T560, you've got a John Deere S790, Agco Ideal, Class Tucano 580, Class Lexion 8, 8900, we've got a Case Actual Flow 9240, New Holland CR1090, uh, Russell Mash RMS161, and back to the T560. So I went for the Tucano one because that's what I grabbed. So is that just like a little bit Edward Scissorhands type? I don't know that Freddy Krueger. Something a little bit. And that's not too bad. What we'll do is turn it on. Everything moving as it should. Really nicely details, a load going on there. That one's got cutters as well as rollers on the inside, which is great. Turn it off. When you fold it up, I think it's... <laughs> I don't know. Watch. I don't know. It's a fantastic header, don't get me wrong. Runs a mile an hour faster. Um, very nice indeed. The actual engineering that, that, in, that goes into that to make it do all of that and the animation of, of the mods, that kind of thing. Absolutely fantastic. Um, that's the Olimac Drago GT by RL Modding FSI Group. And that is it for the mods for today. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, tomorrow... I'm, I'm assuming we're still going to get mods tomorrow. We probably will do. But I think Giants are streaming tomorrow. And I think DJ Goham is streaming with Giants showing off the new um, Alpine Expansion DLC edition um, that's due out next week. I'm sure it's tomorrow that's being broadcast, uh, just to give you a heads up. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.